<laughs> well, Tom is saved. There was a noise happening until I said well and then it stopped. I don't know what that was. It was just kind of like a weird humming noise. The moon and the sun are out at the same time. They're kind of heading towards each other. I think we're about to experience an eclipse. Do we, do we like wait for this to happen? I mean, I'm not really in a hurry, you know, it's Sunday. Day of just take your sweet ass time, apparently, especially when you're driving around. But I guess I'm in no place to call other drivers an idiot because I did a fun thing. Yes, not yes, a few days ago. I locked my keys in my car. Yep, it happened. I got a spare so I didn't have to break in, don't worry. But, uh, <laughs> it was very inconvenient. It was very, very inconvenient. First time I've ever done it, so I guess there is a first time for everything. I'm, I'm still kind of waiting, like, okay, wait, if I don't move, it looks like the moon is heading towards the sun. But very, very slowly. <laughs> but I want to see an eclipse. I guess I have a time machine. I could go forward a little bit. Then the moon will be here. I guess we're going to need some food because uh, we're going to watch this eclipse. Are you ready? Huh? And who are you? You know who I am. I saved Tom, remember? Let me just buy something. I've literally bought things from... Is this man okay? How did he remember that the kid was taken if he can't even remember his own birthday? I want an ale. I'm not done. This is like, you're like one of those people that drive through. You say like, oh, uh, can I get uh, a Big Mac? And they're like, okay, is that everything? No, I'm fat, okay? Let me order. Did I get an ale or a steak first? I can't even remember. Oh, good. I got the ale first. Okay. See, I'm fat. Let me have my two items. Don't look at me like that. Why are you looking at me with your eyebrow raised? Huh? What do you think this is? You think you could just look into my eyes with one eyebrow raised, looking all cock-eyebrowed? Cock-eyebrow? Cock, cock. Your eyebrows look like a penis. No, they don't. They don't, but I just kind of went that way and I just ran out of insults, so here we are. You don't mind if I eat here, right? It, this isn't like a to-go-only establishment, is it? Even though you don't have chairs, I won't take the social cue. <laughs> I can't look at him in his eyes with, <laughs> with his blinking and his one eyebrow up. He just looks so like, what the fuck you saying, boy? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know, old man, trust me. Oh no, it looks like the sun's running away from the moon. No, sun, come back. Hurry, moon, catch it. Catch the sun. I guess the real easy way to tell if it's moving is you just point your crosshair at it like this, and now it's no longer in the middle of the crosshair. Ta-da! It's moving. A little bit harder for the sun because it's so large, but I guess if we put, like, just the edge of it here, maybe we'll see if it's also moving. Will they ever cross paths? The most interesting content on YouTube. It's almost better than watching grass grow. Watching the moon chase the sun. Or is the sun chasing the moon, but the moon's just way out in front? I guess the sun should just turn around then. Maybe that's what happens when an eclipse happens. The sun turns around and goes, ha ha, gotcha. They're playing what time is it, Mr. Wolf up in the sky? Oh, I almost just left my meal here. What am I doing? I changed my mind, sir. I'm going to have it to go. You know what? I think I have enough room in my inventory. So you know what? I don't, I don't need you. A lot. I don't have enough room in my inventory, but you know what? I'm gonna have a couple sips of this before I go for a drive. Because this is the olden days and you can't judge me. Don't drink and drive though, it's really not a good idea. Unless like, unless like you are driving in a game, don't drink and drive, okay? If you wanna drink and drive, have a couple drinks, get behind the wheel of your computer and uh, go for a drive in like Beam NG or something, I don't know. And you'll see real quick why you shouldn't be doing it in real life when you wreck the car in Beam NG and it'll be really, really cinematic and cool and all the parts go everywhere because that game has really cool crash physics. But the point isn't that. You need to think of this seriously. Not in a, It's not a game. Well, this is a game, but... Oh, look at that. This entrance actually exists back in the day. I never even knew that was there. Pretty well hidden, if you ask me. I guess, uh, do we have a charge? We don't have a charge. We're gonna need some charge to charge the the beast because we need to well, i guess we don't need to go see tom yet it is sunday you know tom sounds like a lot of work right now you know 
he's going to be like, ah, I missed you. Why didn't you come to my shop? And I'm going to have to explain, like, look, Tom, some stuff happened. And I'm going to come up with some excuse because I don't want to tell him the whole story. So it's going to be like, oh, Tom, you know, I locked my keys in my car, bro. Took me 25,000 years to get back. And now I'm here. I, I mean, I don't know how long it was for you, but it was quite a while for me. Do I show? Am I aging? Do I look younger than ever? What are you all doing here? Move! They didn't seem that upset about me running them over, so that's that's one. That's nice, I guess. So should we get into some conspiracy theory stuff here, maybe? Maybe? Just maybe? Because I, uh, I heard a little story from a little birdie that if we get our Mr. Crafty, which he is somewhere. Here he is. Mr. Crafty, how you doing, buddy? Apparently. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to... Just start by saying spoiler alert now. I don't know if there's spoilers in here, but there could be spoilers. So if you don't want spoilers, skip to the loo. All right, go take a pee or something. Come back. We'll probably be done. Uh, Mr. Crafty right here apparently is going to have some new recipes, potentially. No, maybe I need to be in the beta branch. I swear he said it was going to happen. So it says new recipes for act three have been added. But I'm not seeing it. We have a fusion reactor. We originally had the fission reactor or vice versa. I'm confused now. Yeah, no, we had the fission reactor. Now we have the fusion reactor. We have a dimension box. All that's in here is components. I thought I thought it was supposed to be in here. I thought we were going to get a little sneaky peeky. I was ready for a little sneaky peeky at some act three spoilers. Now, now I'm mad. No, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not mad. It's okay. I'll try and figure it out. And if I can figure it out, then we'll get into some, some spoilers. We'll take a look at some Act 3 potentials. I can't see this on the screen for some reason. So you know what? It's just going to sit in there. Now look what you've done. Come on. Lay on your side. There you go. Just like that. Now it's at least sort of in the box wouldn't recognize it. I'm, I'm too not in the mood to deal with it. It's fine. I know things. I know things we can do on a nice Sunday afternoon. If conspiracy theories aren't it, then fine. Maybe I have to finish Act Two before Crafty will show me the the goodies. That's possible. But I read in the patch notes that Mr. Crafty got the overhaul, which we saw. Now everything's kind of sorted into categories, as you, as you saw there, food, uh, miscellaneous, tools, etc. And then um, it was supposed to also have some stuff for Act 3. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to use it yet, or the materials to craft it probably wouldn't be in the game or something, but I guess not. I guess we're not allowed to see. No spoilers allowed. So um, to whoever I said potential spoilers, sorry, I lied. Hope you uh, came back from the washroom in time. Because we just kind of continued without you. It's all right. You haven't missed much yet. We're just trying to find our nice little Sunday activity. Another new feature that has been added to the game. Maybe uh, maybe it's on the map. We should probably make sure we're not just like going to s fly off into a tree or something. Come to a nice halt. Uh-oh. In the water. My bad. Didn't mean to flood the engine. Just trying to find something. And no, it's not a lighthouse. I'm aware I've already shown you the damn lighthouse. Something cooler than a lighthouse. Is it this thing? Oh, I think it's this thing. I think we found it. Doing a little flyby over top. It looks like it's new. It doesn't even have a road like leading up to it. <laughs> So, I mean, that's usually the sign of a new, uh, new development right there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, God. Major mistakes have been made. All right, I see the entrance, so let's, uh, let's bring this old girl down here. Oh, we got, we got the start of a road leading to it. Oh, and then it goes to a, a little cobblestone path. Would you look at that thing of real beauty right there. All right, well, good news. We didn't blow up. And we have arrived to our nice little Sunday getaway home. 
We're rich now, by the way, $5,000. Um, I will be trying to make a video where we try to figure out some uh, ways to make some quick cash for you guys that want to do that. I'll do a little research and do a little experimenting, and I'll see if I can put together a little thing where you guys can cheat yourself into being rich. A get-rich-quick scheme. That's what, I'll, that's what I'll do. But welcome. As you may be able to hear, we're at the honey farm. The bee farm? Honey farm? We're farming honey here, not really bees. The bees farm the honey for us. Do you call it a cow farm or a milk farm? A chicken farm or an egg farm? How come there's so many of you here? And you're all just leaving when I show up. Did work just get out? Did I miss something? Don't worry, I'm the night shift security guard. I'll he I'll take care of these here bees. Can they sting us? Um, hello, I'm friendly. Do not kill both of us because if you sting me, actually you won't kill me, just, just yourself. So it's not a good idea to sting me. Do not cause us both harm. I'm not allergic to bees, so you won't kill me but I can guarantee you'll kill yourself. So this is a complete, not complete yet. Um, I guess maybe in the future we'll be able to actually earn some money here. Maybe some honey, some honey with some money from some honey. Maybe we'll even be able to eat the honey in order to regain some of our hunger bar, make some money off of it. Maybe even potentially there'll be a little bit of an exploit that we can uh, take advantage of for a short period before it gets patched out. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I don't think money making in this game was that hard. I mean, most things aren't that expensive. Um, but at the same time, I shouldn't really talk because I never really had to grind. What is this? Is this honey? I feel like that's honey. I feel like that's a honeycomb right there. It's the shape of a honeycomb. They're very large, but it's the shape of a honeycomb. And, um... This kind of looks like honey. It looks a little pink, but at the same time, it is nighttime, so the lighting might not be completely ideal here. I'm very glad that I haven't been stung yet. I am one with the bees. Little bit of a Dr. Doolittle to bugs. They won't harm me. They know I'm on their side. Never killed a bug in my entire life, except for that one time when I accidentally stepped on that one. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that sad day. Too bad I can't actually, like, do anything with the honey. I can... You want to fight, bees? I'll take you all on! Just kidding. I wasn't trying to hurt them. We're friends. Excuse me, sir. Anything interesting here? The church? One of the few churches that still celebrates the old rite. Okay. I mean, sure, I guess. I'll go check it out, but I was kind of checking out this place. We're not fully done yet. We got a Winnie the Pooh-style honeypot over here. Oh, I got a crumbly in my tumbly. I have the worst Winnie the Pooh impression I've ever heard. That was the first time I tried to do it. I was hearing it for the first time with you. I'll never do it again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I need some honey in my throat first. That's what we need. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why does it say, sound weird to say that? Why did that just come off wrong? Please don't put honey there. Okay. Oh, what the heck are these for? Now these, and now I know some barrels, all right? Now this ain't a honey barrel. <laughs> this looks more like a alcohol barrel. Maybe a place to brew some alcohol. Maybe it's not just a honey farm. Maybe we'll uh, be using that honey to brew some sweet Long Island tea with vodka. Is that what you put in a Long Island tea? I actually don't know. Not really a um, mixed drink connoisseur, you know what I mean? Although, as a person who likes banana, I kind of want to try a bana banana daiquiri. It sounds pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if it is good, but it sounds good in theory. Why was the moon higher in the sky during the day than it is at night? Seems weird to me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm night security here. Oh, I think that's a guy, actually. Excuse me non-assuming gender person um i'm security here and you can't just be going through trees wait let me just double check this tree is okay wait no no i can't go through the tree i like i kind of looks like i'm in the tree here but like there's still a solid here you know what ghosts are allowed on the property i've decided i'm not going to kick out any ghosts i'm going to the church quickly Quickly, 
before the demon comes back. It's the first time I've ever really done a lot of exploring, though, on this side of the, uh, of the island. It's a whole little village over here. I don't know if there's anything of importance, but there's a village. Here's a train station. Welcome to Fisher Bay. Oh, wow, they're so, they're so nice and welcoming here. It's like the Canada of no time. Or the Switzerland? Are people nice in Switzerland? I hear they're very neutral. <laughs> they're not nice, but they're not mean. They're just kind of weirdly neutral. Comes off almost sarcastic. All right, well, let's take the car into the bee thing and see if there's anything uh, we can we can do. Can like, how can I mess with this bee place? And also, how cool is it that this thing is completely encased in like bushes and then just has like a little tunnel through it? I want to live on a property like that. I want a little tunnel of trees and bushes just leading to my house. Although then you probably have to be rich enough to hire some people to take care of those trees and bushes. Okay, wait, what's, what do we got here? We got like a jump. We got a little bit of a jump here. So if we maybe, oh, I hit the tree. If we maybe get a run at it, maybe we can jump onto the roof. Stunts at the bee farm. You may think, oh, the bee farm's not finished. There's nothing fun to do there. Well, um, <clears throat> well, you might be right. We're, we're just checking it out, you know? Can we break them? Nope, nope, can't break them. No, no breaking physics, okay. The one has honey on it, which is very interesting. The question is, could this tie in to the new season? How could we use bees and honey in the new season? Or in the new act, I guess we should say. I feel like it's like a TV series at this point and we're just waiting for the new season to come out. When is it out on Netflix? All right, well, let's go check out the church, even though I really don't think there's anything there right now. But just because that citizen told us to, we'll go check it out real quick. And also because we saw a demon and we need to we need to splash ourselves with some holy water or something. I need some ghosts to protect me. Are you? Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Wait, are you the old guy? You look like you have the same expression as him. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir? Do you need a ride? Sir, I'm trying to look at your expression and now you're just being rude. Don't make- Hey, stop looking away from me. I'm gonna see your face one way or another. <laughs> look at me! You do have the same face. Any rumors? There were stories of the accordion man. Oh no, he's gone. Don't worry. Oh, that's definitely why I need to go cleanse myself in the holy water too. I forgot about the accordion man. He touched me a couple times, and I feel, I feel dirty. So show us again where the accordion man touched you. I need the salvation. I need the salvation, please. Holy water. Oh, yes. Are you allowed to eat in church? Is it frowned upon to, like, you know, sit here and have a steak in church. I'm just kind of hungry, that's all. I'm going to sit in here and enjoy the scenery as I uh, eat my steak. My well-deserved steak as a rich man who now owns a honey farm. Okay, I probably don't actually own it, but like I like to pretend, you know? This, uh, in case you haven't noticed, this is my whole thing. I pretend I'm rich. I pretend I own things in the town. I pretend I'm important in saving the world. When realistically, without Doc, where would I be, you know? Speaking of which, where is Doc? Where am I? Oh no, I don't know where I am without him. Oh, Neil. I should... I should have... I should... There. Eh. Wait, I was trying to kneel over there. How did I... thought we could maybe play like Leapfrog the whole way through. I'm stuck. Okay, okay. Oh, so if I... If I can see it... So like I can stand back here at this one and see... I saw it for a second. Oh, now we're getting too far. Oh, now, no, we're, we're bucking Broncos. Okay, well, the point is I can go forward one. <laughs> that was the whole spiel. Now I can go forward two. Now to the altar. Wait, I can use the altar? What do you mean use? How come I can't use it? 
Why are you lying to me? Everything's a lie. I can't get honey at the honey farm. I can't use the altar. Holy water does nothing. It just lies to me again and says I took some, but there's none anywhere. This is all just a cruel playground for the devil. And I don't like it one bit. Oh. What does that look like from the outside? Huh. That's some serious tint on those windows. <laughs> you can't even see that there's a light on in here. That's cool. Because I hate when the light's on in the car. I feel like everyone's looking at me, especially at nighttime. 